Hello and welcome to the show. Today we are discussing VMOS Pro. VMOS Pro is an Android virtual machine app that allows users to run a separate Android operating system within their current Android device. It can be useful for a variety of purposes, including running apps or games that may not be compatible with the user's current Android operating system. In the case of the MetaQuest 2, VMOS Pro may be useful for users who want to install apps or games on the headset, which are not available through the MetaQuest App Store or are otherwise not compatible. The MetaQuest 2 does not have Google Play services. Because of this, users are not able to natively install or use some common Android applications, like Google Keep or other apps which they have purchased on the Google Play Store. By using VMOS Pro, users can create a virtual machine on the MetaQuest 2 that has Google Play services installed, allowing them to access and install apps or games that are not otherwise available on their headset. This can be a convenient way for users to expand the capabilities of their MetaQuest 2 and access a wider range of apps and games. To install VMOS Pro on the MetaQuest 2, users can download the VMOS Pro APK file from the VMOS Pro website using a 2D Android browser, such as Microsoft Edge or Opera GX, on their headset and follow the prompts to download the APK file. Please note that, in order to install applications like Opera GX and VMOS, users must first turn on developer mode for their MetaQuest 2. There are many tutorials online which explain this process, so we will not be discussing it here. Once the APK file has been downloaded, users will need to enable the Install Unknown Apps setting in their headset security settings and then choose the APK file in the browser's download list to install. This will install VMOS Pro on the device, allowing users to create a new virtual machine and install apps or games within the virtual machine. It is important to note that the performance of the virtual machine may be limited by the hardware of the device on which it is running, and that some apps or games may not be compatible with the virtual machine. In summary, VMOS Pro can be a useful tool for users of the MetaQuest 2 who want to run a separate Android operating system within their headset to access a wider range of apps and games. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Hello everybody and welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Uh, it's New Year's Eve. Almost. I guess it's still New Year's morning for me. We are going to install VMOS Pro onto the MetaQuest 2. I'm going to start by opening the Microsoft Edge browser. Mostly because Opera GX was acting funny about this. And where we're going to go is to VMO s dot c o m vmos dot com yep it's the one with the funny chinese characters and i've got edge browsers set to take me to the desktop version of the website you do need to be on the desktop version of the website in order to download this apk we do not want the VMOS download, we want the VMOS Pro download right here. We're going to click it. Wait just a second. Yes, download it again, because I've downloaded it before. I bet that's why it was failing on Opera GX. Let's go ahead and look at the details that this kind pop-up has provided us with. And our APK has been installed. Alright, let's go ahead and install that APK by clicking on it and yes we want to install it now I've already um, allowed my headset to or edge browser uh, to install unknown applications on my headset it asks the first time you want to install an application this way all right VMOS Pro has been installed I'm just gonna click done for now move edge browser on over here open up our app menu right here at the top and unknown sources is VMOS Pro now we'll go ahead and open that bad boy up I want to make it just a little bit bigger I agree to stuff and whatever yes VMOS Pro a brand new user experience 
32-bit and 64-bit, more powerful software and hardware compatibility, multiple ROM support, a perfect ROM platform for you to choose from. Yes, we want to enter VMOS Pro. We want to allow storage. But we're going to skip that floating window thingy because it does not work on the headset. I'm going to say that I'm an old hand. And I think you guys should too. This is why. Now, this takes us to the VMOS Pro um, virtual machine interface here where we can add virtual machines because that's the first thing we need to do. Now, in my experience, one of the best and easiest ways to do this is to get the Android 7.1 Google version right here. We're just going to click the download button. This takes a, a few minutes. We can hang out. up well, screw you then <sighs> maybe I shouldn't be messing with the bandwidth anyways I mean I am um, streaming the headset view to the PC using scrcpy.exe and that takes up a bit of bandwidth you know not to mention uh, the fact that I'm downloading an entire build of Android here. So I guess we can take a minute and uh, not tempt the fates. You know, as a matter of fact, we probably don't need TeamViewer open right now. That could probably be closed up. Things are recording just fine. We're moving a little faster. I'm just kidding. Long drag on the vape. Usa. Patience. Good things come to those who wait. Like an Android 7 build, which I'm pretty sure is only a 32-bit build. I could be wrong, you know. But you do have those options available. You have a Android 7.1 Lite 64-bit, Android 7.1 Lite 32-bit. These can um, you can turn on root uh, for those ones uh, and have Google Play services. The Android 5.1 Lite, um, the Android 5.1 uh, version which has Google Play services pre-installed and there's a couple of these other ones that are supposed to be for geeks. Multi-open version. I have no idea what's going on here but these, these could be interesting and fun. You know, of course, they're VIPs, which means you've got to pay for the service. Uh, if you feel like it's worth it, then I would go for it. Why not? You know, if you've got the cash. Oh, look! Our ROM is downloaded. So, let's go ahead and push that add button right there. Yes, allow, allow, allow VMOS Pro to access this device's location. Sure. And to record audio. Absolutely. This, when it works right, means that we can even use Google Assistant um, on our headsets when VMOS Pro is open. That doesn't always work right. It is a little bit buggy, I've noticed. Sometimes the mic functions, sometimes the microphone doesn't. Uh, I really couldn't even tell you how to tell when and, wh and why. If you guys can figure it out, let me know. Make sure to leave it in the comments. All right, so our ROM is installing. And it doesn't take that much time to install the first ROM. Now, if you've got the space on your headset to install multiple ROMs, you know, try them out. Why not? I'll bet you that Android 4 version is really, really fast, actually. 7 is not too bad at all. We are at 99%. This process does take a minute. It takes a little time. It is 
all about the waiting game, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else in between. All about the waiting game. If you have the patience, you get the gold. VMOS Pro is booting up. All right. It unpacked the ROM and it is now booting for the first time. It won't have to unpack the ROM again. That's done. From now on, the longest you've got to wait for is for your um, device to boot up or turn on. It about, takes about the same time as a phone would. You know, except my phone. My phone takes forever. My S10 Plus is so full of apps and I refuse to get rid of anything. Okay, I get rid of a lot, but I get more. I'm constantly checking out new things. Oh, it's so slow though. But this guy here, this is a pretty nice doohickey. So, we've got a regular old Android. Looks like a phone, doesn't it? Uh-huh. And there are some additional settings we can look at. Uh, the floating ball we can ignore. We can set custom resolution. Um, we can change the refresh rate. I don't see any way to make it um, display VMOS Pro in landscape view, so I just leave that button alone. Um, the virtual keys allow you to switch between the two different uh, uh, modes of virtual buttons. Some people like the other version from the older Samsung phones. I don't like it, but that's me. Um, we've got virtual machine information, including in, like a fake IMSI and stuff like that. Fake, a fake sim. Um, you can set a password and security, uh, authority management. Not sure what all this other stuff is. You, you might want to get into it. And if you want to add another machine, you can delete one. You can have two. Uh, with the pro version free, if you want more, then you've got to then you got to pay for for the service. Um, if you go into the Android settings for your emulated device, we can go to the about the emulated device. Look at the build number. Click it a bunch of times. Oh yeah, we're a developer now. And if you like things to be move a little bit more smoothly, you know, you can change the graphics settings. You can tell it that you want to force apps to enable uh, force activities to be resizable because this is Android 7. We can do that. We can run apps in split screen mode. You can open your Play Store and log into your Google account. And then you have access to all the uh, apps you've paid for from your Google account. Now, if you've got cameras and stuff, they probably won't work on this. Uh, it is a sandbox. It's it's a virtual machine inside its own little world inside your headset. Um, I do know that you can import and export files from your headset and from VMOS Pro uh, to your headset back and forth. Um, never really tried that a whole lot, but it is possible and almost any of your games and stuff should work okay on this Android emulated machine here. Guys, I hope this has made sense to you. I hope it, it, it it's helped you figure out how to do this um, well. This is a very stable version. I know earlier I made a, a, uh, a video telling everybody to go to APK Pure to download VMS, VMOS Pro. I was mistaken, guys. I broke my own cardinal rule about getting files from the source whenever you can. And you can get VMOS Pro from VMOS.com. So that's where you should go get it. All right, guys. Have a great, great holiday. I love you all. See you later.